Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this today's video, we will learn how to create this search bar component that filters data effortlessly. For example, if I want to search for that Gotham, so I will just go there and search for like that. So I will get this data. And uh, suppose I want to search for this revenge. So I will just copy this and paste it there. So this will search that data and for example if i want to search for that arrow so i will just go in my search and uh, write a double r o w so this will search that arrow and we are going to create this search bar component along with this project so in this project we will learn how to fetch data from the api with the help of react query and along with that we will also learn how to create this loading component that loading component shows when our data is on the loading state so let's get started. So for this project, we are going to use a Next.js. So to create a Next.js project, you need to go to your browser and search for npx create next app latest. And after that, you need to go to their API reference website. And here you will get the accurate command to install a Next.js project. So in that case, the command is npx create next app at the latest. So I will just copy this command. And after that, we need to go to the location where we want to create our Next.js project. So in that case, I want to create my Next.js project in that place. So here I will create a new folder like search bar YT. And uh, inside that, uh, I will go there and uh, type CMD. And after that, I will paste my command that npx create next app at the rate latest and after that i will put dot so dot means this will install my next.js project in that folder location and after that i will just press enter and here we just need to press enter enter all the default options like that so this will install typescript tailwind css and uh, some necessity packages so here our next.js project is installed now we will open our project in vs code so for that i will write code dot so this will open a vs code on that location now we will open our vs code in full screen and uh, first of all we will run our project so for that i will open a terminal with control j and after that i will write npm run dev like that so in that case our project is opened in localhost 3001 because localhost 3000 is already occupied so I will go to my browser and search for localhost 3001 like that. So here you will get a default styling from next years. So we need to remove all the default styling from the next years. So for that, I will go to my VS code. And uh, first of all, we need to go to a pages file. So you can also search all the files by control P. And after that, you need to search for that file name, for example, I will press control P and after that I am writing a page so that I got the suggestion for page.tsx. Now from here we need to remove all the files like that and uh, we will and for now we will just print hello and after that we need to also go to the global.css file and uh, from here we will remove all the default styling from there and uh, after that we need to go to the layout file. So in the layout file we will make it for all the background will be black and text will be white so in our body tag in that class name we will write uh, bg black and text white like that and uh, here you can see that uh, we got our uh, bg black and text white there now firstly uh, we will fetch our data with react query and after that we will apply a search for data i am using that api that tvmaze.com shows so we will map these data and also I will give project link, live demo link and uh, timestamps in that video. So if you want to skip for the specific part, you can skip if you want a reference. So you can go through the code and for the live testing, you can check from the live demo link. And uh, after that, we need to go to the react query website. So here we will search for react query. And after that, uh, here we will go to the first website and here uh, we need to click on that get started and uh, after that we need to go to the installation firstly we will install our react query package so we are installing our react query package to fetch our data efficiently now we need to go to our vs code and uh, open a new terminal so i'm opening a new terminal with the help of command shift and backticks 
and so uh, i have just copied the wrong so i just need to again go to that page so i will copy this and paste it there now we need to install a react query like that and after our uh, react query is installed now we need to go to their website and uh, here we need to go to the overview on that overview section they have given the example how we can use a react query so here what is going on there first of all we need to wrap up our app with this query client provider and inside that client we need to pass this query client and uh, we will get uh, this query client from this query client function and we are importing this from react query and after that uh, how we can fetch our data so whatever our api we need to paste it there inside that use query so uh, let's see how we can do that so we need to go to our code and uh, well we need to wrap up our body tag with this query client provider but uh, we can't wrap up this there because we can use this query client provider in client component and we can't convert this in a client component because we are also using a meta tag there and meta tag will only work on server components so for that we will create another layout container so let's see how we can do that so here i will create another component called layout container dot tsx and inside that layout container first of all we will create our sample component with the help of tsrfc like that and after that uh, we will come here and uh, we will copy this like that and uh, we need to wrap up our layout with that like that and we also need this so we will copy this and paste it there and after that we need to import this query client provider and query client from our react query so i will just copy this code from here like that and uh, paste it there so now you can see that our array is gone and in this component we don't need this use query here we need a use query on that place where we want to fetch our api so first step is to we need to wrap up our whole app uh, with this query client provider so we are doing this one right now and uh, after that uh, we need to pass a prop there so we need to pass a prop there children so here we will create a props that is children so the type of that children is react dot react node and after that we need to pass it there and after that there now our uh, layout container is completed now we will copy this and uh, come to our layout page and here uh, we will wrap up our whole page with this layout container and now we will import uh, our layout container with the help of control space and now we will select this and when i will save my code first of all we need to also save our layout container now come there so you can see that we are getting an error so that error that i have already told you so we are getting the error because we need to use a query client provider in a client component so we need to convert this into a client component so how we can do that so we need to go to our layout container and uh, here we just need to write use client like that and now you can see that our error is gone now we will come to our page file and uh, we will fetch our data here and uh, we need to also convert uh, this page into a use client because we will use a use query there so i will just paste it there uh, so that we will not get any error in future so uh, this is our api now let's come to our get query website so let's just copy till there and uh, come to our code and now we also need to import a use query from react query so i will just copy this code and uh, come to my code and paste it like there and uh, we need a use query there and uh, after that you can see that our error is gone and we will name this tv shows data and the benefit of the using the use query is uh, we will automatically get a is loading state and obviously we will get a data and here we will also get a error and uh, uh, for example if i will save my code and uh, so you can see that so yeah first of all we got error so why we are getting error yeah so we are getting error because we have put it a slash there so now our error is gone so you can see that uh, when our data is on the loading state so this will show a loading and after that this will show a hello for example uh, firstly we have seen uh, loading after that uh, we got a hello so now let's create this card component 
so that we can easily map our data and after that uh, we can apply a search so for that we will in the source folder we will create a component folder and uh, inside that component folder we will create a card.tsx and inside that card we will write a tsrfc so this will create a sample component like that and uh, if you will see the final output inside that our card component we have just image and a title of that uh, tv show name so uh, what we will do uh, first of all we will create a container so for that we need to give a class name and that class will be flex and after that this will be a flex call and items center padding will be one and the width will be 158 pixel and on the sm screen width will be 178 pixel and uh, inside that container we have an image so for that we will use a image tag of next.js and uh, inside that we have a alt and on the alt we will pass a like for now tv shows image and uh, after that we need to also pass a source so uh, also let's pass a prop there so on the prop we need to pass a image and the image type will be a string and we also need to pass another prop that is name so uh, this will be also the type of string so i will just copy from there and paste it there and now we need to restructure name and image in that place so on the place of src we will pass image like that and uh, we need to also pass a property of height and width first of all we will pass a width of uh, 160 pixel and a height of 250 pixel and uh, we will also pass a class name in that class name we will give again height and width height will be 210 pixel and on the sm screens height will be 237 pixel and width will be full because on the main container we have already uh, given the width so this image will get the width according to that and we are also passing the background gray 300 and transition all so uh, maybe you are confused why we are passing a width there and there also so the reason is that we are getting the image from the api so we need to configure it uh, in the next yes i will show you how so that next yes can automatically occupy that much space so that we don't get any issues regarding layout shifts and after that we are applying the height and width with the help of css so mainly this height and width will apply so after the image we will put a paragraph and uh, inside that paragraph we will pass name and class name will be a text left and padding y2 and font semi bold so our card component is completed so let's export it normally so we will copy our card component and uh, import it in our main page like that and here we need to pass uh, these following props that is image and uh, name but before that let's style our uh, parent page and after that we will map our data so i will show you how we can do that so if you will see the output for now so there is nothing if i will save we are getting uh, only this card component and on that card component uh, this alt is showing so let's style our main page so for that we will give this padding 8 and uh, max width will be 7xl and flex call and this tip will be a flex and after that flex call and after that gap will be a 5 and max will be auto with the help of this max width 7xl our uh, main container width will be a 1280 pixel max so with the help of this max auto we are giving a margin left and right both and side equally so that we will get our main container in the center and uh, now let's map our data so i will just copy our data uh, like that and uh, here we will use data dot map and inside that we will use a arrow function and after that we will put a data there and index that is i and here we need to also pass an additional property that is key and in that key we will pass i so i is a index that will be a unique every time and uh, well here we are using a type script so we are getting a type error like uh, what is the type of that data and uh, this i so 
i will show you how we can uh, create the type of that data so for that you need to know what is your data so in that case our data is this so what i will do i will i will go to my data and uh, copy our first data so from there our second data is started so i have just copied the first data and now we will go to a uh, chat gtp and paste our data like that now we will give a prompt like create a type for this data uh, now we will press enter so let's see the magic of our chat gtp and now i will just come here and copy all the types from there and uh, come to my code and here i will paste it like that this is our main type and inside that type all the type is imported like schedule rating network and uh, if you will see there these types are defined above there now we will copy this main type and put it there uh, and here we will pass our show and this will be the type of array uh, like that and now here uh, we need to put a question mark because maybe sometime we will get our data undefined like that now if you will see there our error is gone and if i will come there and press d dot so you can see that i am getting an automatic suggestion so i will just search for image like that data dot image and i am still getting an error because in that image we need to pass the two type of image so original or medium so in that case i will pass a medium image and here we need to also pass a name property so for the name we will use data dot name like that and if i will save my code and uh, come here so we are getting an error yeah so we are getting an error so yes because i forgot one thing we need to replace this data previously i just copied that data from the react query website and i didn't replace it. so uh, we need to copy this from there and paste it there now we are using our api so if i will save my code so yeah now we are getting another error regarding the next yes image this error is showing that we need to configure that host name in our next config so for that we need to click on that see more info on the next js website so if i will click on there so this will redirect me to another website of next js and from there we need to copy this and uh, after that we need to come to our code and find the next config.js like that and here we need to replace all of our code with uh, that code and in that case we don't need a port or path name now we need to come to our error and uh, you need to see carefully a host name so this is the host name static.tvmage.com so i will just copy this and uh, replace this from there that's it and uh, if i will save my code and uh, reload my local host so here now you can see that our uh, data is coming there perfectly so now let's come to our page and style it better so i will come to our page.tsx like that and uh, create a, another section to make it side by side or flex wrap so i will create a, another section tag like that and uh, wrap up my cards with that and uh, we need to give a styling so for that we need to give a flex flex wrap and cap will be three justify between like that so if i will save my code so now you can see that we are getting our data in a proper alignment but if you will see there one thing is missing for example if i will reload so we haven't created our loading component for that so uh, for that let's again come to our card component and with the help of that card component we will create a loading component so i have just copied that above code and here we need to convert uh, this into a normal div like that and here we don't need alt src with height we just only need a class name and here uh, in the place of name we don't need because we just need to only create a placeholder like that and let's also give this card loading name and after that we will create our paragraph tag two times and uh, let's copy this background here and paste it there also and there also 
and uh, now we will use a special class name that is animate pulse with the help of this animate pulse uh, we will get a cool animation so i will show you like what so now we need to copy this component and uh, let's close this one and this global.css also this one also and this one also let's come to our page and uh, let's import our card loading component there like that so here this is saying that props is missing but in that case we don't need any props so i will just remove this and save so our error is gone and let's also save this file uh, so now you can see that uh, we got our loading component there now we will make uh, this rounded md and uh, in that case we also need to give this paragraph some width so in that case we will give this width full so we got our paragraph there and we need to also give this rounded md like that in our first paragraph we got our rounded md and width full so like that uh, we will just copy this and uh, paste it there like that and after that we need to give a gap of two there so now our loading component is done there now we will come to our uh, page file and here we are getting our loading state from use query so we will just copy this and we don't need this code so uh, what we will do we will conditionally render our loading component and uh, this card component so here we will make a condition like uh, if our uh, loading is true so we will map through a card loading component so for that we will create some fake uh, array data so for that we will use a uh, array and uh, this array will be uh, of 12 that will be fill with null and after that this array will contain 12 elements with null property and after that we will map over that array and after that here we will use a arrow function inside that arrow function uh, we need to pass our component so i will cut from there and paste it there and after that conditionally we need to render this data so uh what we will need so what we will do we will remove this curly bracket from there and there now we got our conditions uh, like that and here we need to pass a key so for the key uh, here uh, we will make this by default in the place of data we put this symbol and after that index and here we will pass a index so this will be a unique so when i will save my code so you can see that our uh, card loading component is gone because currently there is no loading state but if I will refresh my page, so you can see that we got our loading state first and after that we are getting our card component. So yet now we have learned uh, how to fetch data with the help of React query and how to create a loading component and how to create a card component. Now there is our main part, how to create a search bar component. So before the search bar, uh, if you will see on the local host, so this is our project that we have created previously so let's give this heading so for that uh, we will create a h2 tag and uh, inside that we will write tv shows and inside that we will give a class name of text will be 4xl and uh, font will be semi bold like that and if i will come there so you can see that we got our heading and after that we need to create uh, another section for our search bar so here we will again use a section tag like that and inside that there will be our search bar and so for the search bar let's create a search bar component so if you will see there first of all so there is a container where we are getting uh, this border and inside that container we have an icon and inside that container we have an input tag so first of all we will create container and after that we will put icon and after that input tag so here uh, we are now creating a container so in that container uh, we will give us we will give some classes like minimum width of 300 pixel and uh, after that uh, normally width will be 500 pixel and uh, by default we will pass a ring that will be a two 
so if i will save so you got a ring and uh, after that we will define a ring color so that will be ring slate 700 after that uh, rounded will be md and this will be a flex item center and cap will be 2 padding x will be 2 on the hover we will make a ring white and inside that we will use icon so for the icon we will use a react icons so for that here we will go to our browser and search for react icons like that and after that we will go to our first website and copy the installation code from there and come to our terminal and here i am opening a new terminal with the help of control shift and backticks button and after that i will paste my npm installation command like that and after that uh, we need to search for the search icon so here i will just search for search search for search okay there is a spelling mistake so there is a s e a r c h search and uh, now we will copy this icon like that and paste it there and uh, convert this into a component form now we need to import our uh, search icon uh, from the react icons so we will import it like that uh, like import keyword with the import keyword curly bracket and after that we need to paste our uh, icon name and we are importing this from react icons and after that we need to put a uh, ai like that and if i will save my code so now you can see that we got our search icon and this border and inside that we have our input tag so this will be a text type and uh, class name will be text slate 700 and uh, here we need to pass a bg inherit like that and uh, we also need to pass a width full uh, for now let's remove the text inherit so now you can see that we got a width full like that and uh, again put a like that and uh, we need to also put a height of 38 pixel and uh, we have to also increase size of our search icon so for that we will use a class name uh, like that and here we will put a text to excel so there was a spelling mistake so that's why we are not we were not getting now our uh, search bar is also completed now one thing we forgot uh, let's also remove the outline none so for that we will use uh, outline outline none and uh, we will also give the padding to all around of that now you can see that everything is fine and uh, i think text should be white so uh, let's remove this one and see normally yes now this is perfect and uh, now we will convert this into a component so for that uh, just come to your component folder and uh, create a new file that is called search bar.tsx and here we will write normally tsrfc and after that uh, again come to your page file and cut all of your code for search bar from here like this and replace it with this one and also import this icon like that and now we will import uh, this search bar component in our page component like this one so if i will save my code so we are getting an error so if i will go there again yeah so this was not saved so that's why we were getting error now everything is fine and here we have separated our search bar component here uh, we need a uh, two props first one is on change and second one is value so if you will see there so first of all we got our value there and uh, we need a on change so we need to convert these into a props so how we can do that so here uh, we will write uh, value and value will be the type of a string and after that we need a on change so for the on change we will just copy this on change from there and paste it there and what will be the type of that on change so the type of that on change will be the react dot change event handler and on that change event handler we will pass a html input element so see that like that react dot change event handler and inside that we will pass a html input element like that and uh, after that we will destructure our props like that and uh, we need to also destructure on change and here uh, we will pass our value 
and after that here we will pass our on change so now our uh, search bar component is fully completed uh, now if you will come to your page file so you can see that now we are getting an error uh, like uh, we haven't passed uh, those props so let's restructure this on change and value there and to apply a search bar we need to create a state to check every input whatever the user is typing on that input box so for that uh, we will create a use state so for that i will write a use state snippet so with the help of that i will get a use state snippet code like that now let's also import a use state from react so uh, so we will import a use state from react like that a use state and we will import it from react like that now by default this value will be an empty string and uh, here we need to give this name so for that i will give this name to a normal input or we can also say that value so let's take it a value and uh, set value and after that we need to monitor whatever the user will type on that box so for that uh, we will create a another function that is called handle on change inside that uh, we need to set that value whenever the user will change so we need to use this on change function there and uh, we need to get from the event and inside that we will pass a event dot target dot value but uh, here you can see that we are not getting any suggestions so we need to give the type of that event so for that here is the one trick how you can get the type of that event very easily so what i do most of the time i just go to that on change function and uh, write e like that and convert this into a arrow function and after that when you will hover over that so you will get the type of that event and after that paste it there so here we also need to write react dot change event and uh, after that uh, we don't need this event like that and after that if i will press uh, control space so we can easily get our suggestions so we can show that there is no errors so after that we will write event dot target dot value like that and uh, here on the place of value we will pass a value like that so if i will save my code and write anything so everything is working fine so to verify this like uh, we are using a user state there so we will also print a value there to verify that our uh, user state is working fine i am printing that value in that ui like that after the search bar so for example if i will search anything so this will also print there so it means our uh, user state for every event is working fine now that's come our main part for search bar so what uh, we will do we will create another variable on so through that variable our data will pass currently what we are doing we are just directly mapping our data there so i will just explain you what we will do so for that uh, let's just rename this data so for now we will give this data to uh, like uh, movies data and uh, now you will see that we are getting an error and for the actual data here we will create our variable like const data and here we will pass a uh, one condition like if our value is true means uh, if user have typed anything so we will search through that data so our condition is that if the value is true value means if i have typed anything so it means this is true so what we will do we will use here filter method so i will show you how we can do that we need to filter our movies data we have just rename that our data into the movies data so after that we will use a uh, movies dot filter and uh, after that here again we will use arrow function and here we will pass a d so d denotes as a data and after that uh, what we will do we will pass d dot name and we need to convert this into a lower case so for example if user will pass in a upper case or lower case and also in some cases our data will come in a capital letter or a small letter so what we will do we will convert everything into a small or lower case and after that we will apply our search so that's why we will 
use a function that is called to lower case and after that we will use a our main feature that is called includes inside that include what is the condition condition is value dot to lower case like that and after that we need to pass our another condition like if the value will true so this will filter and if the value will false uh, false means if the user is not searching anything or this value is empty so we will pass our movies data there like that so if i will save my code so uh, now everything is applied now we will try to search for our data for example if i want to search for this so i will write b i double t e n double t e e n so this is perfectly working fine so now i will explain you what is exactly happening there so uh, we are passing our data there and we have written a condition there if the user will type anything or value will contain so what is the value value is this and if the user will type anything there so this will store in that variable and and if this variable will true so we are filtering our data and inside that we are passing condition like firstly we are converting this data to a lower case and whatever we are typing we are also converting this to a lower case so if you will see there we are also converting our value dot to lower case so after that we are checking that uh, whatever we are typing this includes on this one or not so if this will include on this data so this will filter so with the help of this filter we are getting these data so uh, let's also see on a full screen so if i will reload so you can see a loading state and uh, search state so for example uh, let's copy this and search here so now you can see that our search is working fine let's also remove this we don't uh, need this so let's come to our code and we don't need this value there like that and i will also give this project link in my description so you can check it out from there live link will also included and if you enjoyed and learned something new from this video so give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this until then i will see you in next one